Hallelujah. No, you cannot shout that hallelujah without a smile on your face. I want you to plaster a smile on your face and shout hallelujah. Amen. Welcome your neighbor to your left, to your right, and tell them welcome to today's event. Look at another person and tell the person congratulations. Amen. You may please take your seat. I welcome you specially to today's event and I want to guarantee you that you are going to have a great time today. Amen. Because Jesus himself is already here. Somebody say amen. amen. We shall proceed to the official opening prayer and to take us on that is our own Bishop of Ileology Anglican Diocese. Right, Reverend Abel Ajibot. Gracious Father, eternal rock of ages, we bless your name today. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration. We thank you for the life and times of your son and your daughter. Pastor Samuel and Mama Dignes Docas or Ladinu who were on this part of eternity some years ago. You granted them the grace to serve you diligently and you called them unto yourself at your own appointed time. We give you glory because even though dead, they still speak. We thank you, O oh God, for today. We give you glory, O oh Lord, for the life and ministry of your son and your daughter. Our father, Pastor Wally, and our mama, Pastor Mrs. Bukola Oladio. We thank you for all that you have done through their life and ministry across the world. We give you glory for their impact even in this kingdom, in Leologi kingdom. Thank you for the way you have established them to be blessings unto your church across denominations. Be thou glorified forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. For the vision you gave them that made us to gather today, we cannot thank you enough. Your word says, According to Touch John, that the prayer is that in all things it may be well with us and we may be in good health and prosper, even our so as our soul continues to prosper. What is happening today is in fulfillment of your word. And we cannot thank you enough. And so, Lord, we ascribe all glory unto you. For all of us that are here already, for as many as may still be coming on their way, for the host of today's program, we give you glory. The Bible says, no one can receive anything except that which is given from above. Lord, you are the giver of the gift that is coming through your son and your daughter to the church of God in this place today. Take all glory, Amen. honor, Amen. adoration Amen. in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit divine, we want to acknowledge your special presence. And so, Lord, we hand over the continuation of this celebration unto you because you are already in charge. Lord, lead us in this celebration. Let today's event, oh God, draw souls unto your kingdom. Let the balm of Gilead be released from above. From today into this facility. And all those that will serve you to attain to the health needs of people. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. You, Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you.
appreciation to God Almighty for making today a reality. May his name be praised in Jesus' name. Our special guest, His Excellency, Arakoye. Oluro to me, Akiri Dodo, that we are still expecting to recognize you. We also recognize the presence of a KBC, Alayelua, Julius Olufadeni, Adetine, yet to be here. The president of CAC worldwide, in person of Pastor Esso Oladili, that is to be represented by the, pro, I mean, the general evangelist, Prophet, I mean, Prophet Ezekiah Oladich, that we are still expecting to recognize, recognize them. We also recognize our donor, our benefactor, in the person of Apostle Wale Oladi. Also recognized is a powerful mommy, a very dependable wife, a jewel of inestimable value in person of Pastor Mrs. Bukola Oladino. You are welcome. We also recognize the Bishop of Anglican Diocese, Ileoluji, Right Reverend A. Ajibudu. You are welcome, sir. All dignities two numerous present. We also recognize you. You are welcome. Okay. We recognize um, the same band of today in person of our of our old daddy, Christ Apostolic Church, in the early GDCC headquarters, in person of Pastor John Kayode Gayo. You are welcome, sir. Today is a great day because history is being made and I'm happy to be a part of it. A wise once said, that people don't come, don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Apostle Wala Oladinu, one of the global lights of Inaluji Kingdom, who was raised in this particular church years ago, has returned today amid several of his humanitarian feats to donate a world class maternity that we serve, that we serve as a legacy, not just for him alone, but also to immortalize the name of his dear parents who taught him in the way of the Lord. <laughs> to get to this point where we are today, you can be certain that a lot of funds have been expended running into several millions. Yet, God, God's servant Apostle Owale Oladinu remain undoubted in resolve to make the lives of people better. Despite the fund that have been expended, it will also interest you to know that the servant of God has pledged to offset the salary of our workforce for the first one year, which is another remarkable strike to ensure the smooth pickup of the maternity. On behalf of the management committee, I will want to appeal to us here as God may inspire you to do, our father has really gone a long way to spend so much on this maternity 
and uh, the management team feel deem it feel that we should appeal to us here the dignities in whatever way that you think you can assist our father so that this maternity will not be run a grand. We hope and believe that before you leave here today, you will meet us, the management, and give us a pledge to us what you feel you can you I mean you can give to assist the smooth run of the maternity home. Once again, I say thank you. And God continues to uplift you in Jesus' name. Once again, we want to welcome our governor, Governor Kerry Dulu, and his entourage. The KBAC of our Julius Adetimei, Jago of Ileoluji Kingdom, and the I Chief, they are present. The CAC president, Pastor S. O. Oladele, the general evangelist, Pastor Ezekiah Oladeji, Sophia Ajayi Regional Superintendent, Pastor S. I. Jayoba, also Udubanjo Regional Superintendent, Pastor B. O. Akamu. The Bishop of Ileoluji Anglican Diocese, Reverend Ajibodu, all DS and pastors. I will also want to get to greet all our dignitaries, too numerous to mention because of our time. It is a thing of great joy having the maternity home commissioned and dedicated today. We nearly lost hope and at first when the previous structure air was pulled down in preparation for the new building in view of the fact that the project was initially delayed. Nevertheless, we appreciate the goodness of God in the life of our father, Apostle Pastor Wale Oladinyo whom God has used tremendously to fast track the construction and completion of the world-class maternity home. It is of great joy to us at CAC Kishegun DCC headquarters that this edif edifice was established for the betterment of hum humanity and for this, we pray Almighty God to always remember Pastor Wale Oladinyo and his family home and abroad for good. May your source of anointing never run dry in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir.
praise, praise, praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. The Jago and the Jago of Villa Luki of Julius Adetime, Jimoko the second, who I believe will join us here and his council members, the air chiefs. The KBACs here, our newly crowned KBACs, our fathers in the Lord, I can see the bishop of the Anglican Diocese there, I pay my respects, sir. Our numerous fathers in the Lord here present. And let me acknowledge especially Pastor Oluwale, Olawale, sorry, Pastor Olawale, and Pastor Mrs. Bukola Oladiyo, who have invited us all here today. And let me also acknowledge the presence of our female, our Lobo, and the high chiefs here with her, and all our distinguished guests here present, the staffs of this great institution that we're here to dedicate and commission this morning. I consider this is a speech Thank you. being delivered on behalf of the Governor of Ondo State, Arakone Olu Arotime Akredolu, S-A-N-C-O-N. I consider it a great honor to be at the dedication of this maternity facility today. It is a pointer to the fact that stakeholders in the Ondo State project are listening to our call for an all-inclusive participation in the development of the state. And in addition, I believe that it is an expression of confidence and appreciation of our commitment and sacrifices for improving the health of our people in the state. A little less than six years ago when we took the reign of governance in Ondo State, we promised our people access to qualitative health care at all levels of care provision. This we pursued with all sense of commitment. And with the ongoing redeemed agenda, we have equally prioritized health care to consolidate on the gains we made in our first term, and now accelerating towards the attainment of the goal of reaching everyone in Ondo State with qualitative health. Irrespective of, irrespective of class, age, ethnicity, and religion. Truthfully, it is an acceptable fact that a healthy population will be a productive population. For our government, this was not just another cliche. Rather, it was a call to work assiduously for an all-round development for health. In this regard, we have taken bold steps across all the building blocks of the health system through provision of functional health. Through provision of functional health infrastructure. Strengthening of institutions for training of highly skilled professionals and practitioners and support staff. Provision of conducive working environment and construction of world-class infrastructure for promotion of qualitative health care services. Specific examples are the ongoing projects in the University of Medical Sciences teaching hospital complexes at Ondo and Akure. The mother and child hospital in Akure, which has been upgraded and given approval to offer full range of secondary health care services. Primary health care being the entry point into the health service delivery system is equally being strengthened. Over 600 of these health facilities are distributed across all of the worlds in the state. And we are currently investing in both their infrastructure and equipment. 
and employment of health workers to build to bridge human resource gap at primary, secondary, and tertiary levels. In our void commitment to workers' welfare, we have graciously cleared the backlog of the salary areas inherited from the previous administration and has continued to pay salary as at, at when due, despite the financial challenges. Presently, I, more, I make bold to say that my administration is up to date with the payment of salary of his workforce. The health system in Ondo State is not immune to the Jaffa syndrome witnessed in the country. We are, however, committed to strategically replacing health workers who have left the system. The College of Health Technology at Accra is still an excellent training institution for middle and low level health care pro providers. Not resting on our horse, we're in the process of establishing a new school of health technology in the South Senatorial District of the state with the intention of addressing manpower challenge at the primary health care level and also for wider coverage. The Odo State Contributory Health Commission aimed at reducing financial burden of medical expenses on our people became operational on the 24th of June, 2019. In order to improve access to life-saving care for our pregnant women, and under five children, this administration initiated the Abiyamo Maternal and Child Insurance Scheme under the ODCHC. And this is targeted at providing social safety cover for our pregnant women and children up to five years of age. It also increased the mother and child hospitals from two to seven, covering all the senatorial districts in the state. In 2022, the Orange Health Insurance Scheme was launched for all public officers and political office holders in the state. This scheme covers accident and emergency services, treatment of human illnesses in adults and children, antenatal care, delivery including cesarean section, laboratory and radiological investigation, physiotherapy and dental optical services. In accessing these healthcare packages, we approved a joint contribution of 3% of gross salary of each public servant under a sharing ratio of 1.8% by the state government and 1.2% by individual public servant as a premium for a family health insurance plan covering each public servant, one spouse, and four biological children below the age of 18 years. Furthermore, another health insurance scheme known as Sunshine Health Insurance Scheme for the informal sector that makes up about 95% or more of the population shall also commence in the nearest future. To, to cover artisans, market women, commercial transport operators, and all other members of the populace. Pensioners and students also have their own scheme under the Sunshine, that is the, the Sunshine Insurance Scheme, which translates to the fact that very soon every of those state person will have access to this safety net of the universal health coverage. To further improve access to healthcare, we approve the release of the state counterpart fund to the federal government funded basic health care provision fund program in order for the vulnerable persons, widows, retirees, aged, indigents, women and children below the age of five to access care. 20,595 people have been enrolled and are enjoying medical, surgical, gynecological and other healthcare services free of charge.
for the past five years that we have been in the saddle, we have approved financial assistance to some ailing citizens through the Ministry of Health. Huge amounts of money have been expended on that to alleviate the financial burden on the citizens of the state. This support will definitely go a long way for the affected people to have access to prompt and quality health care. For optimal performance, our health facilities must have quality drugs and other health commodities at the right quantity, right place, and at the right time. To make this possible, this administration passed the law establishing the Drugs and Health Commodities Management Agency in 2021, with the main objective of providing qualitative and affordable drugs and health commodities to our public facilities. All preliminaries are now completed. With the deployment of all necessary resources and the agency is now set to commence full operationalization this year. Finally, I want to say boldly that our government has, has an open door policy to investors in health, be it private, commercial, or non-governmental. And we are willing to collaborate with any genuine investor. Our Ministry of Health has been enabled to provide appropriate guidelines for engagement in collaboration with other line ministries. Starting right is starting well. It is on this note that I'd like to, co to conclude my speech by congratulating a worthy son and daughter of Ondo State and the persons of Pastor Ola Wale and Pastor Mrs. Bukola Oladim for this worthy investment in community service. It is a notable one that I believe that the indigents of Ileology and his environs will benefit greatly from and will continue to refer to. I encourage all good and well-meaning sons and daughters of the state to emulate this commendable action. I encourage Pastor Olawale Oladi and Pastor Bukola, Pastor Mrs. Bukola Oladi, to work with the Ministry of Health to see how this facility can be optimized for the benefit of our people in this community. Once again, I thank you all for this great privilege and honor given to us to be here.
Madame, Mrs. Mayoko, Cecilia, Adeshina and her family, on behalf of Mr. Femi, Uluwa Femi Sayo, Oladiyo and his family, on behalf of Mrs. Remy Fadakite and her family, on behalf of Mrs. Temi Tokwe, Oluwole and her family, I want to say thank you to everyone who has come to grace this occasion. I want to thank God for all the pledges in the house, beginning from our Alaga in this district. I want to thank God for the representative of our president, our president, President Esu Oladele, who has graciously has sent the regional superintendent for Oduba region, Pastor Biko Akamu here. Can we put our hands together for him? I want to thank God for all the CAC ministers present, ministers of God from other denominations. My Lord Bishop Ajibodu, a man I greatly respect. Please, as I'm recognizing them, put your hands together. You are all welcome in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to honor the presence of our governor who has graciously sent the Honorable Commissioner for Finance, our own son, Honorable Wale Apitariwa, and he's here with his darling wife. You are welcome. Can we see? This is your by. I'm going to go ask you. I'm going to go ask you. I'm going to go ask you. Thank you for that. I'm going to go ask you. I'm going to go ask you. Hallelujah. I'm going to go ask you. Mama Olori, by our own commission, we will move on. About two, about two, about two, about two, about two, about two, about 
o di toju mi ohun ati ka eko ati emi akito mi de ati jawando awon oro mi lo suko dede lo ya ko da fun ase o wa ka du won se o e o lori ta mi kide de diluwa fo mo emi ataya la ti diluwa mo re o e ka bi esi oju sana mi ya ka wa me de gbe lenu ni o eh emi da clean ta tu mi gan e da ba mi ki awon ba mi oba yo bi pe awon high chief ajo ka ba npa tepo awon so baba lisa o o ya pe mi jinu ni be do ba mi fa ka mi ba mi wo ka wo sha bo ba mi o se baba le wo tu wa ran wo tu wa do ko jinu wa ni be a ba npa jowo ko de de ni be fa ka mi o eh baba sashe baba do wo de de won mo ki de ni won pata 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 baba o mo se o a ma se o bai a ma se o a ma ta ba mo tu to de de ni be de de ni be eh mama lobo a ba mi pa tewo ko mama lobo mo pe o re wa na mi se ni edun gan ni eh a ma se o eh a tu won se o de de won na ba mi du pelu bi ni ye mi eji diga yi eh abo to iya abo eli abo eko eh ayi bebe baba sha ayi bebe owo se omo akobi ni lai ni a ba npa tewo ko baba sha de de won ma se o o le atun yin won o de de awon dila ki bi sola de de mo tu pelu won won igba mi alfa de de won yin ten yo a ma ma da fo wo se o a du won se o de de ya won yan de ba si ohun yo pe owo ko owo da le duo yin ya wo bi o e gbe mi on baba lubaki de ba npa tewo ko wo ma se o ba ka riye ba a ko fe wa e su ya se o baba lo de e sha 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 jo da ba no podu o a pe do ogun a bi le aroga da gudu e o da du e se o no a ti mi yan de a du e se o de de won pata pata awon a podu wo de lo aye won ka le o aye mo sha mi da o da pe tun de de won a se o awon igbon mi mo dupo o ba mi bo baba ba ngo la a se o tac community ati clam o ko da ki hallelujah mi ta si jesus o yo alewo e gan yo na to ndo wo ma se o ataya e a ba npa tewo ko won awon mi ta ya jo ko ni si esi an yibe a ba npa tewo ko won na ko ko ra devi o ma bo soyi ka ko da ka ba tewo ko li ka ko di kin on la ti meji ka yo de ka ko be yin e da nua ati moye ati moyo awon ya jo da gba mi yin se an je won ka le yo Every other person I recognize you and please help me specially recognize the venerable Olu Femi Oyawade a great media guru a man I love and respect shall we celebrate shall we celebrate is a father is a father is a father God bless you sir amen This vision was given to me when I was just below 10 years in on this ground that old building there stands as the old maternity where mama sm oni served the mother of dr kain deoni the mother of mrs tolu adeboyega and the mother of reverend benga oni i remember as a little boy whenever i saw any pregnant woman being taken there i would be here to pray and baba yinimowa would say leave that boy he is on a special mission that was when i spoke to the lord to enable me for what is happening today to God be all the glory so when that little boy was playing the saxophone i was interceding for him but that boy is going to be a global person tomorrow in jesus name my parents were foundation members of cs in eluji with my father being the leader of the prayer band he dedicated me at age 7 on the altar of the cs church where we are and that dedication is working to tomorrow to the glory of god my parents gave me gave me as a bigger legacy that and they bequeathed me to the lord and my siblings we had made us so continue to rest in peace i most specially recognize the contributions of my siblings both home and abroad especially dr akin onladiyo and his wife please let me recognize him praise the lord he's a very brilliant human being 
who is very versatile in construction, engineering runs in my family. Once you have any next project anywhere all over the world, check out this man who will deliver for you. Praise God. We need to pay you for that publicity. Thank you, sir. Amen. I, I want to say that our parents have done well. This maternity you are seeing here, let me tell you something about it. What we are doing today is in continuation of what got started through our hands in 2014 with the establishment of Sutera Maternity and Hospital, a 56 bedded hospital in Lagos, where we have succeeded in carrying out four brain operations and a hip replacement without any complication. It's a place where faith and medicine meet. Instead of taking 8 million that they normally charge in India, Sutera Maternity and Hospital. I mean, charged 900,000 per one brain operation. I believe the federal government should give us commendation for this. And the place is wasting strong to the glory of God. And by the grace of God, my family constructed a children's ward um, eight years ago, a duly dedicated by the then governor, Governor Mimiko, to take care of the young ones in the Ujiti eternity. The thing is there, this is the third one by the grace of God. And I'm trusting the Lord that God is going to raise more people to do more. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. My wife and I simply have a passion for mothers and children, among other things. This maternity is available for members of the CAC and indeed entire community community. Anyone abroad listening to this, you don't need to exercise any fear when you come home. Everything is here. When I say everything, everything is here by the grace of God. One standard. Everything. So if you are pregnant, you can come to Hilaluji and relax for three months and then you carry your babies and begin to rejoice. Amen. I want to quickly talk about Pastor Wole Oladin Foundation. Um, it's a multi-millionaire investment of my family uh, to give um, solace and support to indigent students. We have succeeded in training so many people by the grace of God. We spent well over billions of naira in training people we don't know. Those who will never say thank you to us, but God will say thank you. And we believe that it's a seed. Galatians 6, 7 says, Be not deceived, God is not mocked. What a man sows, he reaps. We believe in seed time and harvest time. And this is part of it. We're going to donate this place to CSC community and in the religious community and eternally. I know the Oladinu dynasty will reap abundantly in Jesus' name. Yeah. By the grace of God, um, the church of God in Nigeria must continue to be more visible and active in social, economic, and political development in this country. We must decidedly play active leadership roles in major sectors of the economy. The church must, must progress quickly from being just religious centers to human development institutions, focusing on spiritual, physical, mental, and financial well-being of their members. The church must begin to show more care and compassion, especially at a time like this. I want to say to all the churches and the leaders, just the way we have the prayer uh, warriors department, let us have the innovation department in all our churches. Let us have the advocacy department in all our churches. Let us have the fintech department in all our churches. Remember in 1 Corinthians 1.24, the Bible says to the Jews and to the Greeks, Jesus the power of God and Jesus the wisdom of God. So the church, to be visible now, we need to ride on those two wings, the power of God and the wisdom of God. There must, there must be a synergy before we can be recognized in the committee of nations. In conclusion, I want to thank the Excellency and his team. I want to thank our chairman and the Olori Adetima. Bye, Ubawama Sanwao. Shonda Akasa Wano Kodesio. All the members of the in Council, thank you so much. The lodgers, the newly um, installed of us, all our guests all over, May the Lord bless every one of you. And my prayer once again is that as the Lord lives and his spirit lives, 
the mercy of God will never depart from me. Honey, I know it can shame me. The mercy of God will not depart from me. In the name of Jesus. But when Tom shared me, I know long could it Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. By the powers conferred on me, as Kavye is seen, Jebu, Oluwe, Jikimo Kokeji, and the Parliament ruler of Ilaluji Kingdom, the owner is hereby ordered to get up. Uh, somebody said he will take a good. I never imagined that it would be that convenient. Uh, when we have cows, food, we don't do that. It won't diminish or repeat whatever I have to do. Thank you, sir. Um, may I implore Oduri to please lead me as the spirit directs three songs of praise. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise, praise, praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, I want you all to join us. We're going to sing praises unto the Lord. We're going to thank God for his mercy endure forever. And no rest or
I like to stand on the existing protocol because of our time and uh, because of the immunity I enjoy. I'm not going to answer any query. <laughs> if you are in my party and you share with me my belief, can you clap for Jesus? And foremost, I like to give God all the glory for today, for His mercies and special grace for giving us this day and all of us present the privilege to witness this very important occasion. It is indeed very important because it will go down the annals of our history in this kingdom. Hallelujah. This laudable initiative powered by Senior Pastor Wale and uh, Pastor Mrs. Bukola Oladio is for humanity and mankind under his philam or their philanthropic auspices. And uh, we can be here, only God knows when, if we begin to dance and share in their joy. It's a day of fulfillment but the, that the Lord has made years ago. And uh, we shall continue to rejoice in the Lord. Amen. Second Chronicles, chapter 6, from verses 7 to 10. And I want it read aloud. Niyo, if possible, you go go ahead and go. Yeke, yeke. Shubba e miti nyan Jerusalemu. Shubba e miti nyan Jerusalemu. Ki oruko mi ki ole wa nibe. Ki oruko mi ki ole wa nibe. Mosi ti nyan Dafidi. Lati wa lori Israeli. Lati wa lori Israeli. E ni yon mi. Mosi ti wa ni okan Dafidi. Mosi ti wa ni okan Dafidi. Baba mi. Baba mi. Lati kon ile fun oruko oluwa olon Israeli. Lati kon ile fun oruko oluwa olon Israeli. Oluwa si so fun Dafidi baba mi pe. Oluwa si so fun Dafidi baba mi pe. Itori ti o wa li okan re. Lati ko ile fun oruko mi. Lati ko ile fun oruko mi. Iwo se, iwo se unli eyi ti o wa ni okan re. Iwo se unli eyi ti o wa li okan re. Sibe. Sibe. Iwo ko gbodo ko ile na. Iwo ko gbodo ko ile na. Sugbon omo re ti yo jade ti inu re. Sugbon omo re ti yo jade ti inu re from your loins. Tinu <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today, what we are witnessing is the manifestation of the prophecies of God, as we have just heard from the book of Second Chronicles. Uh, and we tell it, and so tell it, and we say, 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 and we say,
if we were to search the minds of Senior Pastor Wally Olabiyo, why conceptualizing this idea? There are two prominent factors that would have influenced his mind. One, in good memory of his late father and mother, in remembrance of the rules they played in their lifetime in the vineyard of God and to humanity in general. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Secondly, if you have moved closely to Pastor Wally Oladio, all his career in life, you will appreciate uh, that it's, a, it's been an embodiment of philanthropy, humanitarian gesture, benevolence, name it, and above all, being a global minister of God. The spirit of your late parents that are in the right hands of God Almighty will, buy, will be with you all through your life. Mutiso, the pastor is a God sent philanthropist to the God and a globally acclaimed minister of God. We might, at this stage, be asking ourselves, for what purpose is this edifice put up? If we search our minds, because I believe all of us here are gifted with good virtues from heaven, we will come round to the same conclusion. First, this place will be for the well-being and health care of humanity and mankind in general. Because we all believe in the popular saying, especially in the vineyard of God, that life is for the living. It can only be seen as living when you have faith in God, and you embrace the, the culture of healthy living. So if you look at what is contained in this edifice, it's totally meant for care, health care, and the well-being of humanity. And I pray the purpose will be fully achieved for the glory of God. Two, it can also be seen as a way of promoting the socio-economic development of the Ulubi Kingdom. And nobody can afford that. It's a die-hard patriot of this community. Let me help And also, closely related to that will be the intention of fulfilling the philosophy of job creation for the Ulubi people. We often shout of unemployment, youth restiveness. Ilauluji is not an exception, but we have always seen the hand of God in Ilauluji, and we pray God will not depart from us. Amen. So by this edifice and all that he's putting into it, to a great extent, unemployment issues in Ilauluji and Embaro will be addressed. Also, like I said, this guy is very, very close to me. I know it will be one of his reasons eh, that this will inspire to a great extent a number of Ilauluji indigenous and other patrons in Ilauluji and in the diaspora. I hope you are all with me. This one is going to be another source of inspiration to all our sons and daughters at home and in the diaspora. Because 
each and every one of us can do very little. But when we come together, we can move mountains. Have you ever come? I don't want to come I don't know if you are still there. In the same manner, we will appreciate that this will be one major contribution to church growth and development. I mean the CAC church growth and development. Because it's all over the place that entrepreneurship has no limitation any longer. If only for us to survive and live well. And for this kind of philanthropic gesture that is out there to serve humanity, the church will be attaining another level. Amen? Amen. So I say congratulations to the CAC Church in Aruji and CAC Church worldwide. Before I round up my goodwill message, I'd like to appeal to the would-be pioneer set of head workers here. And I repeat, this is an appeal. Mufuri Adeba in you, and you tell the Achadu, tell the Uri of Fela Tidara Koma, or Doma Shisha, you may be, you may talk you are right. For long, you may be. Kajau <laughs> Oni <laughs> Indeed, will be fulfilled to the glory of God. Now, Pastor Wale, Pastor Mrs. Bukala, who will be allowed you at here. I want to come around if you really should. You're a push and all. Come here, I am. Oh, you have to go. Come here, I'm not out. I know that it is a real lady. Be no you. Any bad be my two bad double. Oh, one, what did you because Back on up. My friend Dubai. Boku Awa. Olu Dari. He's got two hours in Italy. All the church leadership and their council. But you are all the dusty ones. They are shaking up. They could be there for you. I don't know if you are shaking up. I did your work on Uberu Dori. Ulukuluku, I knew 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 I 
ke tun fi dupe lo wa gbogbo awon ta wa kale bi pe ese ti e le fi aye sile oni je ojo saturday ti giga mimu to ba npo ka kiri igboro sugbon giga mimu ti ti a wa se loni ninu ti emi ni o asima yo giju ti ka gbe sibia bi okere le ni a be ko mo gba ladura ba se nsun olorun oro olorun a ma gbile ninu okan wa o a ma gbile ninu aye wa o a ma tun aye wa se o ayo wa ma po si o mo bu pe lowo ni e se popo god bless you please let's be seated in the name of jesus we want to first of all appreciate god almighty for please sit down sir thank you we want to first of all appreciate god almighty who has given us life who has given us health who has given us resources and most of all saved us to be able to know who he is we want to thank you so much and uh, thank all our fathers the royal fathers i want to stand on the existing protocol our brother has said he has made royal uh, mistake and i'm sure he has been forgiven yes, so if there is any mistake here is it royal is it uh, apostolic, apostolic? <laughs> please pardon it on behalf of the president i just got the message this morning i left you by the 10 a.m rushing to be here to make sure that we do not fail this program and that is telling us how dear this program is to our heart I want to appreciate you kbsc the representative of the governor here I want to appreciate your coming our father the clam ministry we want to thank you for receiving the vision of god and following it and putting up this uh, magnificent uh, edifice in memory of mommy and daddy we want to appreciate you so much for that the president says he does not take this for granted and because of some other engagement he asked me to must be here and so even when i did not plan that i'll be going anywhere today very early this morning around nine, he said please get ready and be at ileoluji we had planned this program long ago but uh, your trip to london or thereabout did not allow us to do it as scheduled but thank god the day has come and we are finally going to do it by the grace of god we appreciate everyone that is here and the lord bless you and the lord bless clam and uh, everyone that is involved in this vision may the lord bless everyone thank you and god bless you his royal majesty from Ikiti Anolum, Ikiti, can you please join them? Thank you, sir. Okay, we... Samuel and Dokas Oladino Maternity, CSE Okeshegun Leluji, is dedicated to the glory of God today, uh, 28th January, by Pastor Samuel. Oh, Oladele, CSC President, today, 28th January 2023, in the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, the Honorable Wali Akinche will now commission on behalf of the Governor of Ondo State. Thank you, sir. Today, the 28th of January, I hereby commission Samuel and Dorcas Oladi of maternity to the glory of God and the benefit of mankind. Amen. Shall we jam our hands together to appreciate God as we go in on a guided tour led by the matron, Mrs. Laide Ayokule. Amen. 
premises for delivery. I will rush out of the church and be interceding until that woman delivered safely. In my innocence, I asked God to enable me to go and that he should empower me to make a maternity available for women all over the world. That was the primary motivation. Growing up, I'm an engineer by training, I practiced baby civil engineering all my life. And when I was called into this world, by the grace of God, um, God has built three health institutions through my hands. The first one, Soteria Maternity and Hospital, um, where we have done three brain surgeries successfully and the hip replacement. It's a 55-bed hospital in Lagos, belonging to a clam family. The second one, eight years ago, when Governor Mimiko was the governor of the state, my family donated a children's ward to take care of youths in this town forever. So we donated it to own the state, the own the state government. And the place is they are taking care of the youngsters in this area. So in answer to the prayer I innocently prayed when I was a small boy, God enabled me to put up this legacy project, Samuel and Dockers on the maternity. In remembrance of my parents who served God dutifully and faithfully in CAC. My father was one of the prayer leaders for Apostle Joseph Ayo Babalona 
in the 60s and the 70s. It was the Balogun of CAC Church here. My mother was a prophetess in CAC um, number three in the Uji till God called her uh, seven years ago. And because lives have fallen onto us in pleasant places, we have a goodly heritage. I decided on behalf of my family members to put up this in remembrance of my parents. So it's a legacy project that will take care of women about delivering in this town and the environment. People can come all over the world to deliver safely. The facilities there are extremely very global, very exquisite, and just name it, anointed by the grace of God. Thank you. Oruko mini alufa wole ola di moje omo bibi ile oluji baba mi samueli ola di ati mama mi dokas ola di won je olufo kan si lori oke cac oke segun cac ti olorun gbowo oludasile wa baba joseph ayo baba lola dasile nigba ti mu wa ni kekere gege bi omo kekere emi mi ma ngbe enu mi ti ma ti ri alaboyun to nbo wa bi mo ma jade lati nu shoshiwa Mama Badu ati ti obunin ya fi bi mo mo wa ba Olorun so pe ti ma dagba ko Olorun fun mi ni ori ofe ori ofe meji ko je ki n dagba ko de ko fun mi ni ola lati ko ile agbe bi fun obunin ki awon obunin ma ma je ya Olorun de go adura mi ijo ti Olorun fun mi se olori ni ilu eko ti an pe ni ijo riso ya apostolic christi clan minister Christ living speak apostolic ministry Olorun ti gba owo mi ko Hospital at the airport. You should just pay your bed. The man who didn't adopt a lawyer by 55 bed. The case you need to be your dumb just saying. I'm not too familiar with your affair. That is called war before war. Don't need to eat. Go me now. Me me cook. To share part of the nigga. The delay me at too soon. The baby. The case you need. Ni uruko ni unati share the tip baba. Samuel at his mama, look at the girl that did not share. The only thing she can see is she. No fear of falling down. The only way all of us do is keep it there. We will see the future. I do not mean from above any. I do not mean it. I mean more. Not in reality, not in being. We will not be able to. 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 Itu rad di bawah ni Nigeria, yo ya wakale, lupa Jesus Kristi, lupa awak.